Hello guys, my Eva's here and uh, today I finally uh, decided to uh, make a tutorial for um, my first, um, I guess, lessons for guitar. Um, I've had some couple of people asking um, if, they, if I can teach them some guitar or piano and uh, finally um, made this video for the first time and we'll see how it goes and um, we'll start from there. Um, the song that I have here today is uh, The Heart of Worship by Michael W. Smith. Um, one of my favorite worship songs, especially because it always reminds us of what the purpose of worship is really. Um, it's not about you, it's all about God and all about Jesus Christ. Um, <clears throat> so when I sing this song, it kind of reminds me of that purpose uh, naturally. Um, uh, so the main important things when you want to start learning music, uh, I think the most important thing is always practice. And I think practice comes straight away from actually doing this, the, doing the, the thing, doing the music itself instead of learning all the uh, theories, like musical theories and all this kind of thing. Uh, I mean, those are definitely important, those are definitely great, but you won't be able to actually grasp the importance of the theories if you do not already know like how you play a G chord or a C chord on everything like that. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna head, go ahead and, and teach you how to play this song and at the same time you'll try to learn um, some basic um, chords and some basic strumming patterns um, from this song. So the way this song goes, uh, it actually, first of all, it has about three parts that we need to learn. Um, there, are, there are two verses in here, so you start with a verse and then you jump into a bridge and then there's a chorus and then you go back to verse bridge chorus and chorus at the, at the last part is uh, played two times so <clears throat> the verse goes like this so the first chord that you're gonna learn in this song is the chord of G and you may want to just uh, watch my hands because I tried to record this a moment ago and it over I only have three, uh, 30 minutes on my camera so I don't want to overpass that. So the G chord um, is this position. Um, you might want to Google it as well. Um, that would really help to already know what the G chord looks like um, instead of me telling like, hey, put your ring finger on this string, this fret, and all this kind of stuff. So uh, G chord looks like this. We're going to try to play this G chord. Um, there are actually another version of G which looks like this. I use it for good good father but in this case we're gonna play the G in this position okay uh, hopefully you you'll see it from the camera over there so G and then D so we have D right after G and then I call this position E my uh, a minor open a minor open so a minor regular a minor is like this right what I do is I'll, I take off my ring finger and I put my pinky at the last strings on the third fret. Okay? A minor. The other, the other, other two chords that you need to learn is uh, C. And then for the C again, you put your uh, pinky at the last uh, string, third fret. Okay? Then the last one is E minor. An important thing when you try to play, uh, play guitar is that you want to press the strings so that it makes the sound instead of something like plucking. If you hear plucking, that basically means that you're not pressing your strings hard enough. So you want to put a little bit more pressure. Now, it's going to hurt your fingers at first, but then your fingers are going to start developing these small bumps that w basically would make the, the pressing much more easier and make sure you cut your nails too, that's very important because if you don't cut your nails then instead of having your flesh actually pressing on the string you're gonna have your nails and it's gonna break your nails and the whole song, I mean the whole um, sound will, will will sound pretty, pretty bad so um, E minor and press hard enough okay. okay, so the verse the verse would go with G and then D and then A minor I call it A minor open but in this case I'm just gonna call it A minor so 
you would know the position for A would be like this, okay? Back to D. Okay, so that's the thing. G, D, A minor, back to D. That's the verse, okay? And the strumming pattern, a lot of people learn by strumming pattern. I don't really learn by strumming pattern, but I'm still gonna try to teach you using the strumming pattern. I learn more by tempo, like the beats in the song. And this song is uh, four beats. That basically means you count like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There is this tempo that you can follow in there. Uh, it just does one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. And that's the same thing as strumming patterns. Um, <coughs> but just a little bit different it, the concept is a little bit different so if you learn by strumming patterns the strumming patterns for the verse is going to be down down up down up down down okay so you do g four times um it's going to match it, it's going to automatically match uh the tempo with the strumming pattern so what i mean by that is if you play g <coughs> doing down down up down up down down it's going to sound like down down up down then you switch to D, down, up, down, up, down, down, A minor, down, up, down, up, down, down, D, down, up, down, up, down, down. And if you count that using the tempo instead of the strumming pattern, you're gonna have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So that's basically the verse. It's just G, D, A minor, D, back to G, D, A minor, D. Okay? And the strumming pattern is down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. And you can count one, two, three, four, and then move to the next chord. Uh, we're gonna do it one more time. So verse G, two, three, four. D, 2, 3, 4, A minor, 2, 3, 4, D, 2, 3, 4, G, 2, 3, 4, D, 2, 3, 4, A minor, 2, This position of the D, the last D, we're gonna jump into the bridge. The bridge is basically A minor, and again, I do A minor open. I'm gonna try to move around so you can see the chord much better. A minor open, and then it's E minor, okay, and then E minor from E minor, we go to D. So, those three chords is what you're gonna play in the bridge. Um, for the bridge particularly, the strumming pattern is a little bit different. Um, the counting is still the same. One, two, one, two. Actually, I do the counting. One, two, one, two, and one, two, three, four. And the strumming pattern that match with that is down, down, up, down. You move when you go into the, the down right after the up. So down, down, up, down, down, up, down, okay? And what happened is, on A minor you do down, down, up, down. On E minor you do down, down, up, down. And then on D you do the same as in the verse, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, okay? So, let's let's try using the str strumming par pattern first and then we're gonna use the counting after that. So, A minor. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, A minor, down, E minor, down, B, down, up, down, up, down, down, A minor, down, E minor, down, B, down, up, down, up, down, down, A minor, down, E minor, down, B, down, up, down, up, down, down, okay? If you're using the counting, it's almost the same thing. It's just one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so A minor is two times, E minor is two times, 
and D is four times, okay? So here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. A minor, two, E minor, two, B, two, three, four. A minor, two, E minor, two, B, two, three, four. And then from this D, the last D, in the bridge, you jump back to G. Um, we're gonna do the chorus here. Sorry, my nose are kinda tickling. G, and then jump to D, and then A minor, and then C, and then D. Okay, so there, there's gonna be some small jumps in there between C and D. Um, but those are the chords that you're gonna play. So G, D, A minor, C, and D. Back to D, okay? And the way it goes is, like I said, it, it's kind of like the same as the verse, um, same as the verse, except on where you go C and D, which is C and D is down, down, up, down, down, um, just counting two times, okay? So here we go. Again, you'll need a lot of practice um, to, if it's your first time trying to learn this song, you'll probably need a lot of practice to just get those strumming patterns and counting and the chords in general. Um, but I think we're gonna try to uh, sing the whole thing so you can maybe try to follow along if you kind of like know the song already and just wanna do some um, follow along and practice song. Um, so we're gonna try to sing the whole song one time and hopefully I'm not gonna exceed my 30 minutes limit on my camera. Okay, and for the song, I'm gonna do the introduction, I mean the intro part uh, one time on the verse, which is basically G, D, E minor, D. Back to G, okay? So here we go. Just to 
concludes the lessons for today. Hopefully we'll have it again. Thank you.